So uh, kind of moving on, one of the things uh, that we definitely don't want in recovery is to have consistent relapse, right? We're going to talk about it, that it's a part of recovery, but what steps can we take when we're trying to avoid this relapse? Yeah, you know what's great about Pure Desire is I think we have the proven tools in the process Mm -hmm. that will limit relapses. Though relapses, we know that they're going to take place. Um, I truly believe if a guy does is doing the homework, he's in the journal looking at the faster scale every day, um, and then making the phone calls, and then emphasize making the phone calls as the whole answer to this question on my side. Mm -hmm. Um, We'll limit those, and more than likely, you won't see. You won't, you'll start to see less and less and less relapses. Yeah. Um, I've never had a guy in, I don't know, ever since we started using a faster scale anyway, 20 years or whatever it is, uh, call me after making a phone call and say he relapsed. Hmm. So, meaning yeah. the guys who make a phone call don't relapse after yeah. making the call before a relapse. Yeah. So um, that's I guess that's an encouragement because – It takes two seconds to pick up the phone and that two seconds can save a hardship, a discussion with your wife. Right. Um, You've already disclosed to your group member. Yeah. Uh, You've basically thwarted a a relapse. Yeah. And you move forward. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, out of all the tools we have. Yeah. That's the big one. Yeah. It, it's kind of the question of uh, having a little bit of pain now or a lot of pain, lot later. Of pain later. And I can face the pain now of a phone call. And, you know, what, what comes to mind for me as well in this is it even the question itself maybe exposes a flaw in our thinking mm-hmm. that we're too focused on avoiding relapse. How do I yeah. not do the thing I don't want to do? Yeah. When really the question is, how do I stay in health? Because that's the faster scale is showing me what is health and restoration look like for me and how do I learn to live there? Because as soon as I move on to the faster scale at all, I'm moving away from health and it's making relapse more and more possible. Now, it doesn't mean I am going to relapse, but it's possible. And that's why I think one of the tools we use called the matrix of addiction or some just call it the cycle of addiction that encourages a person to sit down and think, where does it first start? Because it's usually not, I want to relapse. It usually starts with, Avoidance, procrastination, isolation, um, all sorts of things, conflict that just pull me in that direction. And if I can see where it starts and do my work there, then I'm going to avoid the battle of relapse at the end of the line. And it's the question we've asked, and I've said it on this podcast a bunch, but which is easier to stop a train running 50 miles an hour down the tracks (laughs) or to redirect one when it first gets started? And so if we're saying, how do I avoid relapse and waiting until we're running 50 miles an hour down the track and we're tempted and all those uh, neurochemicals are happening and we're remembering what it feels like, man, that's a losing battle. That's a tough place to be. So it's more to ask the question, where does all this start and do the hard work there? Yeah. You know, one of the things too, and this is, this is going to seem really simple, but it's not simple in like application is if you find out, you know, you look at the matrix of addiction or you look at that cycle and you realize, cause for me, I realized that Twitter was a part of that. And so I realized, okay, this is one of the places it starts. Maybe the feeling. And I, at that point I hadn't identified the feeling that had triggered mm-hmm. that, but I know that the next step after the feeling is to go to, to a social media place that I can find porn and I'm going to go with it. And I'm just going to like, I'm going to be okay, but I'm just going to surf quote unquote and yeah. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. And then, you know, an hour later I've relapsed. So at that point you have to make the really difficult and courageous decisions to cut those things out. And I feel like, again, it's really easy. Like just don't go into that store or just don't watch those types of movies. But I think that it's, it, it's just one of those things where you have to get to the point where you're able to identify it and be honest and then take the necessary step. And for me, that was a really practical thing where I felt like a new level of freedom was unlocked when I decided, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of Twitter. I'm not gonna have it. And I still don't have it because I've just decided I'd rather be healthy than have something that's potentially gonna be a pitfall for me. So I feel like it's a really practical and simple thing, but 